Welcome back to another Python tutorial. So we're continuing our final video on double linked list. In this video, we're going to cover how to remove duplicates. We're going to see how to de delete elements by value. And then finally, we're going to see how to rotate our list. So with that being said, let's get started. First thing, we're going to do our remove duplicates method. So what you want to do is we want to make sure we pass through the list itself. And then from here, things are gonna sound a little confusing, I know, but bear with me. I found an example online. I think it does a good job of at least communicating that. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab the first node and the second node. <clears throat> we'll call the first node the previous node. That will equal self.head. The current node will equal the self.head.next node. So basically the node that comes after the head. Okay, so we do need to handle an empty list scenario. And so in this situation, um, basically we would just do that. So we'll say, hey, the list is empty. We're gonna be using the hashing method. So basically we're gonna create a new variable called keys that will equal a set object that will contain all the unique data points that we see as we traverse our list. And so we'll say previous node.data, and we'll keep adding to this list if we come across a unique value. Now, after we've done that, what we can do is we can begin traversing our list. So we'll say while current node, we'll grab the data. So we'll say current node.data, and we'll say if the data is in the keys, then what you'll want need to do is you'll need to grab that previous node and we're gonna have that next pointer equal the current node, so the one that we found the data in, but we wanna basically bypass it. So we're gonna say, hey, point to the node after it. So to give you an idea, basically, if we were here, we would say, hey, this one's a duplicate, so have this one point and bypass it. Now, there is a situation where we've got to now readjust this pointer. But this one, that's only the case as if we're in the middle, because if we're at the end, we just need to have it point to nothing, basically. And so here, we're going to say if previous node dot next node does not equal none. So basically, if we're not at the end of the list, grab the previous node, grab the node that comes after it, and then grab that node's previous pointer and have it point to that previous node. Hopefully that makes sense. And then you're gonna wanna make sure that you reassign your current node so that way it equals the current node that we're on, but the one that comes after it. That's to prevent an infinite loop. We'll say else. So if it's not a duplicate and this is a unique value, take our key set and then add that data that you found. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna say that previous node will equal your current node. And then your current node will equal the current node dot next node. Dot next node. Hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> but basically, this is where we're handling the situation where there is not a duplicate. This one handles the situation where there is a duplicate. And then really all we're doing here is um, basically having it where it will uh, just bypass it. And then, but it, we have to make sure we also deal with the previous pointer. And so what I'm gonna do just to make sure everything works. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to say, uh, remove duplicates. And then after duplicate removal. Just to make sure. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, it did remove all the duplicates like we wanted, so that's always a good start. Uh, now that we've done that, let's move to the next topic. Delete element by value. So what that means is if we see a value, delete the first occurrence of that value. So basically like deleting a specific node. And so we'll say delete element 
by value and we'll say okay we'll say okay take that and then we're going to have an x and we'll say if self dot head is none this is the empty case scenario print no elements to delete the list is empty we want to return and then we need to handle the only heads list Basically, there's only one element. So if self dot head dot uh, dot next node is none, then we need to check if that value matches. So if self dot head dot data equals x, then simply handle the self dot head equals none. Basically, you're just removing the head else print item not found and then return you can leave so basically this is a scenario where there is only one element and in this case that first element does not match but what if the first value matches so basically what happens if the head matches if self dot head dot data equals x um, what we need to do is we're going to say self dot head equals self dot head dot next node and then we're going to say self dot head dot previous node equals none because we're at the beginning of our list we know that can't have anything behind it okay so three different scenarios empty list there's only one element and then the first element matches that's basically how I like to look at it. Okay, otherwise, grab the first node. We'll call it, well, we'll give it N or something like that. Self.head. Uh, traverse the list, and we'll say while n.next node is not none. If the value matches, so if the value matches. We'll say if n dot data equals x. Sorry, I had to grab a drink. Break. And we're going to say n equals n dot next node. <coughs> and then we're going to say, okay, if n dot next node is not none then n dot previous node dot next node equals n dot next node so hopefully you kind of see what's going on here so if it's not none that means there's one that comes after it so take the one that we're currently on basically grab it and then grab its next pointer and then have it point to the the element that comes after the one that matches basically um, hopefully that makes sense all right otherwise oh sorry then one other thing next node dot previous node equals n dot previous node basically now we're just kind of flip-flopping the the pointers and stuff like that else if n dot data equals x uh, n dot previous node dot next node equals none and then else print element not found okay so if we're not at the end of the list, reassign the pointers. If you are at the end of the list, okay, what do we do? Well, just take the node's previous node and then grab its next node pointer and have it point to nothing because if we're at the end of the list, it should be pointing to nothing. So let's kind of just take a step back and see what goes on. So here, what are we doing? What happened? Oh, so here, so if 
if we're handling the case where it's in the middle of the list, grab the previous's nodes, next node pointer, and have it point to the node after the one that contains the value. And then grab the next node, so the node that comes after that one, then grab its previous node pointer and have it point to that node's previous node. So basically like you're bypassing it. That, that's how I like to think about it. You're just bypassing one element. So once you've done that, let's see, specific deletion, 100. Was it 100 I was deleting? No, 90. <gasps> let me, let me, let me, let me. I'm going to, uh, uh, Delete element by value. Say so delete element by value, and I want to delete 90. And so after, we'll call it specific deletion. Uh, oh, well, probably would help if I. Did I not name it correctly? Oh, I was missing my E. Goodness, I'm sure there's still be an error. No? Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, keep in mind though, it only does it only does delete the first occurrence. So I, again, I don't want to give people the idea that that's like, oh, it's going to delete every occurrence. No, that's just deleting the first occurrence. Um, you could do something like call to remove duplicates, and then you could. Um, do a specific one. It's, you know, it's kind of up to you how you how you want to do it. I mean, you could technically extend it to where it kept going and, and stuff like that, where you know it wasn't necessarily breaking or anything like that. Like where is it on up here? You know, you could keep going and, and stuff like that. So there's other ways. You know, I, I might add that in a later video or something like that. Okay, so rotate list. Define oh no 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 no. Define rotate list. All right, so what happens here? Well, it's going to take one parameter. It's called K. And basically, it's like where we're flip-flopping, where we're saying, hey, this is now going to be over here, and then stuff like that. So you're basically taking the first K elements and basically tagging them on at the end. So that's what they mean by rotation. It's actually, I mean, I, I would say it's not too bad, but you know, maybe that's just me. Uh, there's really only a couple scenarios that you kind of have to deal with. So really it's, okay, so if K is less than or equal to zero, we, we got to handle that situation. Or we get a scenario where K is greater than, and then we're going to call this self.get list size. So basically you provide a K which is bigger than the list size itself. In either one of those situations, you basically, you have, you basically picked an invalid K. So you picked an invalid K. That's that's really that situation. And then in that case, just return out and leave. All right, so if that's not the case though, and they gave you a valid K, grab the head. So we'll say current equals self dot, dot head. And then what we'll do is we'll traverse the list, but we're gonna have something, we're gonna have a count, we'll say count equals one, and we're gonna say while count is less than K, and current does not equal none, so basically we, we haven't reached the end of our list, then what you wanna do is current equals current dot next node. And then otherwise, count equals count plus one. So basically, this is going to get it where current will be, uh, like, so if I want to go two elements and one, two. So then when we get that current, it will be, the current node will be the one that basically is the one we want to start the rotation on. And so in this situation, now we have to do one other thing. So we have to check and say, hey, if current is none, first return out, so basically just leave. So if you get nothing, 
That really shouldn't be the case because technically this should have handled that situation. But again, just to be safe. And then we'll say kth node is equal to the current one. So the one that we basically got from our little thing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to traverse to the end of the list again. And so we'll say uh, traverse to the end of the list. And we'll say while current.next node is not none. We'll say current equals current.next node. And then um, this is where things kind of get confusing a little bit. So assign the node after the last node to the original head. So basically this is where we're tacking things on. And we're going to say current dot next node equals self dot head. And then we're going to have the original head. We're going to have that previous node pointer point to the current node. So again, we're kind of taking this one, we're putting it over here and we're having the previous one point to that one. And then we're having the next one point to the head, basically. So you reach the end, point to it, and then you're having the, the head, the head's previous pointer point to that last node now. And then from here, um, have the head now point to the node after the kth element. So now it's going to be self dot head equals the kth node. And then it's going to be the node that comes after it. And then self.head.previous node is still going to be none. And then because the kth node is the end of the list, that should equal none too. So it's basically just reassigning stuff. So the kth node is now going to be the new head, or really the one that comes after it. And then you're going to make sure that the head that previous node pointer is now pointing to nothing. And then you want the, the kth next node to be pointing to none as well. So hopefully, again, that kind of makes sense. And then what we'll do here is we will uh, rotate our list. Uh, rotate list. Uh, and we'll pass through two. Um, is that going to be enough? Yeah, that should be enough. Worst case, I will just um, yeah, okay. <clears throat> so basically, like I said, it's taking ninety and eighty, and it's um it's pointing it there. So again, I'm just gonna you one last time just to make sure people get it so we handled the scenario okay you didn't give me a valid k that's fine we grab the head we loop until we find the one that we want to start our rotation on okay really here you're just kind of checking to make sure it's none because there is a situation where that might be the case um, otherwise the kth node is going to be the current node you're going to go till you reach the end of the list so basically traverse till you um, reach the end of the list, or at least the node before the end of the list, because technically the end of the list could be that none node, but regardless. And then you're taking your current node, you're having the node that comes after it equal the old head, and then you're having that head, the, the, the old head, its previous node now point to that current node, so basically the last element. You're now reassigning the head to equal the kth node dot next node, right? And then what you're doing is you're taking the previous node, making sure that's pointing to nothing. And then you're having the kth node, making sure that that one is uh, pointing to, uh, what is it? As it's pointing to nothing as well. So again, hopefully that kind of makes sense. But with that being said, that does complete our little series on the double link list. So if you have any final questions, please put them down in the comments below and I will try to get back to you. Also, if you could, please make sure to like the video. We always appreciate the support. And if you're not already, please make sure to subscribe to the channel 
So that way you keep getting regular updates and all that wonderful stuff. So thank you again for watching everybody. Um, I will make sure to put this up on GitHub and put some links down in the descriptions below. But we'll see you in the next video.